coming up, though. Let's go, typo. We got American Bowser versus Toon Link. I can tell you one thing. This is not fun for Bowser. Oh? Um, Bowser's big. Bowser's slow. Zonkables is gonna do what he's doing right now. He's gonna he's run zone? away and throw bombs. Yeah. And then and then you press the Z button on Bowser and you get you get good follow-ups, like like that. He oh. almost converted grab up it up, grab up tilt, grab on Bowser. That that doesn't work with Toon Link on every character. It works on Bowser though. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's a dash attack. That pushes. That Here, has such interesting knockback properties. Here's the biggest problem with, with American Bowser. He will always recover high. That You're is, right. You cannot do that. Yeah. You have to be able to recover low. Because Lunchables is just stuffing him every time. I played a set with him last week when I played Sheik. And he would always recover high, and I slapped him for it every time. Bowser. Typo was asking me if and I. And that's uh, off the top. He was playing Bowser. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But. You're right. I think the primary thing that you do, especially against a character like Bowser, who has power, who has armor, who has these things that are just will mess you up in neutral when you get that close to him, why bother take the risk? Use the projectiles. Zone him out. Bowser wants you to interact. Yeah. You don't want to interact. That's like it's the same thing with Peach and Melee. You like Fox, if Fox versus him, Peach is gonna if Peach is gonna crouch cancel down smash you. But if he doesn't, he can just shoot the gun over and over again. And that's what Toon Link's doing with his bombs. He doesn't have to interact with Bowser. Yeah, he doesn't. He really doesn't. Mm. Go! No! He's fine. Alright. Nice bomb. Drops bomb down. Bomb gets a lot of conversions on shield. How do you feel about tether grabs in general? I just I just want to like a stand... I would just give everyone a normal grab. Yep. I just feel like that's easier. So, here's... Here's the thing. Yes, Typo, you are right. Um, because if you really want a balanced fighting game, you just make everyone just play for you. But um, here's here's the thing: is with the grab you get the range, right? Mm -hmm. But you also get the punishment if you mess up on the on that. There's that recovery yeah. that's there. There is there yeah there's there's a drawback to it. It's good or bad. Most two links is is short, so I wouldn't say it's like the best tether grab. Sure. It doesn't have as much lag as a lot of them, but um, I feel like it'd be a buff if you gave him a regular grab. And Lunchables is running away with this. It does seem he like not, he's running away handedly. He is not letting American Bowser get anything. So I'm when it comes to playing games like this, I, I have this mentality where I have a main, I have loyalty, that's cool and all. Oh, that was sick. He's styling. He's 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 not even paying attention at this point. Um what I would do is I have my main, I love, and I'll have that loyalty towards, but I have pockets. Yeah. And I feel like in a game where P a PM where you have such a diverse roster, where there's so many different characters, so many different matchups to know, you need to be able to cover the bad ones. For your I partner. think Bowser is a character that has some really, really bad. Ma Bowser's a good character with some awful matchups. Yes. Though. Game like Sheik, Game and Watch, Toon Link, people that can camp Bowser and have great got grab games. Yes. Are are a problem. Huge problem. A huge, huge problem. So having a secondary is probably optimal. But character okay. loyalty here from American Bowser. I'm surprised we didn't go to Battlefield. I mean, I guess we just went there. No, we didn't. Um, PS2 seems like an odd pick just because it gives him more room to run around. Yeah, I don't agree. I would have picked some place a little bit more compact. Yeah, I and uh, a single platform. Uh, I think he banned WarioWare and Fountain, which in that case I would have just gone to Battlefield. Yeah, it's definitely smaller. Or Green than Hill. This. Uh, definitely Green Hill, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. What he was thinking here. I don't know either. But it's okay. We'll see what he's got. Yeah. Um, he, he could make it work. So it's pretty close right now. When it comes to you know learning these sort of things and these mentalities when it comes to these matchups, uh, how do you how do you 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 played these games for many years and I'm sure you have diverse knowledge when it comes to this sort of stuff. So how do you deal with someone who's just zoning you out so heavily? Um you have to bait him, to be to be honest. And in a matchup like this, Bowser doesn't have a lot of options to get through that sort of wall. But um, you can you can you have to use the tools that you don't expect to have to use. Like you you could rush in and attack him, but that's never gonna work. You have to bait him with your movement, which is why a stage like Battlefield probably would have been better because it gives you more platform tricks to move around to make it look like you're going in one place, trying to get to one place, but you're really trying to get to another. Um, 
Which may sound unfair, but that's just kind of the truth of it. You sure. have to outsmart your opponent a lot of the time. Yeah, absolutely. So, so far, Bowser has a rough time doing it, uh, at, at least at this point. But there's that's the mentality he's going to try to hope to keep. Two yep. stocks apiece, 90%. You gotta, you, gotta, you gotta throw out an option and see how they react to it. Yes. And then you have to follow up, and then you're, you're, you have to see the... Okay, they did this, and then I did this. So if I do this, then they'll do this. So I should do this after I do this. Yeah. It's it's convoluted, and it's, a, it's an interesting process. It's but reading into your opponent. You gotta, you gotta think more steps ahead than they do. Yeah, it's playing chess. Yeah. It's countering their counter. And in a matchup like this where Toon Link... Toon Link, Toon Link goes first. Toon Link has the advantage from the start. You... You don't want to... You have, you, have to be, you have to be the smarter player. And fantastic work so far from American Bowser using the armor to really push his way in against Lunchables. And uh, looks like he has him up at 76%. It's going to come down to Lunchables playing smart, starting to use the zone Yeah, I, I feel like Lunchables is just going to camp him now. Yeah, now he's going to start camping because he, he had a little bit of fun, played and interacted. He's like, okay. He interacted. He doesn't want to interact anymore. Yeah, now he wants to oh, rack yeah. up percentage. And finish off the game. Right? He knew the dare would auto cancel, so he knew it was a safe option. Yep. He's auto canceling those dares to try he's, to get him to come in. Yeah, he's baiting him with it. Yep. And if he does, and if he gets hit, he dies. If he doesn't hit him though, he's completely safe because it auto cancels. And Bowser's a slow character. And he's done. That's it. Good, good last stuff. game. Good efforts from American Bowser. Yes. That was a pretty good set. American Bowser playing a little better second game. But it was a great showing for, for how you're supposed to deal with certain matchups. You Sometimes, whatever cool tools your character has, that's that's fine and dandy. Use them in the correct matchups at the correct time. Play to your strengths. Remember, if you can't beat the character, you can always beat the player. 